Shout out to Israel, it's your brother, Young Malcolm. Young Malcolm X. Basically, today, Malcolm posted. I'm on Tropicana, man. I'm posted on Tropicana. Today, we just gonna speak some real shit, man, to some people, driving by, whatever. Pretty soon, we gonna have it to where we on Spencer speaking. Basically, shut down the block a little bit. Black power shit. Black power shit. Little things I want to say, man, before I get this shit started. A lot of our people must learn how to open carry or conceal carry. Get you a CCW or learn your motherfucking laws, man. Because right now, the things that's going on in the black community is so fucked up right now. As you know, Malcolm carry, and I carry damn near every day. One of my favorite pistols would be his 45. That's just my opinion. It's my opinion. My opinion, man. My motherfucking opinion. And something else I want to talk about, man. You got to learn how to love your people, bro. You got to do something. See, when you got a man that comes out here in 109, 112 degree fucking weather for his people, you know he gives a fuck about it. And I'm just keeping this shit real. Well, today, people, you got the last... Malcolm X standing on this goddamn block. Some things I want to talk about is racism. Dealing with a lot of our fucking people. A lot of our people. Well, some of y'all probably heard of my name. They call me King of Vegas. The same black man from 2019 that went through racism all through this motherfucking area, through this whole damn town. Look, things I want to talk about. Y'all treat our people so damn bad every fucking day. Every day. So some of the things you got going on, you got black rebels taking over this fucking area because we are tired of seeing our black people shot every fucking day. Every day. I know some of y'all looking at a brother like, what the fuck is he talking about? Is this shit real? Yeah, it's real. We've been in this land over 400 years in captivity in this land called Great Babylon, which is the land of confusion. Our ancestors came over here on Corgo slave ships and slaves sold to a nation of people, which I call America. Every last black brother you see walking around here from Jamaican, Jamaican descent, African-American descent, black Cherokee, Native American, or all the true Jews of the Bible. Think some of y'all think that brothers are playing now. Dealing with this motherfucker named Donald Trump, which is a piece of shit. See, we stand for our people and we love our people. I'm not racist. I love everybody. But when it comes down to dealing with my black people or being treated like animals in a goddamn cage, I feel a different way. <laughs> a different way. See, some of y'all are afraid to stand up to the authority, which is called the police department, which is known as the slave patrol, which was made back in slavery. But yeah, we got something for their ass, though. Oh, it's coming. Y'all need to learn how to stop treating our people like shit. When the simple fact is, Christ is a black man. Y'all sit down here and paint the Christ as a white man. Christ is not white. It tells you in the Bible that Christ is a black man. See how that shit came out? That's that Roman Greek mythology. Because some people fear of a black man with power. Yeah, I know y'all don't like to hear this shit. <laughs> but Malcolm don't give a fuck. <laughs> we are so tired of our people being treated like trash. 
You see a black man carrying a firearm, a lot of y'all want to call the police and get the black man shot the fuck down. <laughs> y'all sit down here and abuse our black women every fucking day. Which is bullshit. I don't know about y'all, but this block about to fucking unify. <laughs> you got the last goddamn Malcolm X standing on this hot ass goddamn sidewalk. Who don't give a fuck. <laughs> Let my sister pass right quick. Woo! Boy, it's hot. Ooh, how you doing, sister? How you doing, queen? You doing fine? But blacks are finna start unifying on this block. I'm gonna tell you something. It's being a black man from the tribe of Judah. These lions that you see around my neck. I wish I would catch a motherfucker beating on a black woman when I'm around. I wish I would. See, I love my black queens and I love my black brothers. And therefore, we gonna stand for them. We not gonna take too much of this shit no more. Some of y'all sit down behind that cell phone. Oh, call the police. It's a black man. But when y'all see one of these crazy ass, different race brothers walking up the street with an AR-15, killing innocent people, what do y'all do? Y'all think that shit is glorified. We ain't taking this shit no more. Rebels run this goddamn block and we standing on it. Now the person who y'all call Jesus Christ, his name is Caesar Boy Jero. Jesus is black. He ain't white. Y'all sit down here and try this Black Lives Matter shit. <laughs> Boy, that's some bullshit. And I love my people. But the simple fact is, y'all sit down here and make so much money off a of black man or black woman. That money does not get dropped into the black foundation. It never does. See, we tired of this bullshit called America. Tired of it. When we sit down here and we built this fucked up country out of blood, sweat, tears, and misery. See, y'all sat down here from 2019 and thought that, oh, the king of Vegas, that's that crazy ass nigga. It turned out I was the last goddamn Malcolm X. See, y'all want to call a brother crazy because he don't stand for white supremacy. Fuck white supremacy. <laughs> I don't think y'all hear me too goddamn clearly. <laughs> See, the time is coming when a black man from the tribe of Judah, that fearless lion that that Bible talks about, it's finna start fucking up some of you racist ass people. <laughs> it's your boy YM, Young Malcolm. It's so motherfucking hot, my toes are burning. <laughs> I'm out today, man. I'll be back probably next month out here, man. And this time when I come out, I'll be out here for an hour speaking. So y'all tune in on my channel, my page, man, Black Power. Black Rebels, United in Christ, man, Tribe of Judah. We out here for our people, baby. Black Power.